There are few individuals who have had a profound effect upon the world around them. They are called leaders. Individuals who see opportunities that others may not, who find solutions that would otherwise be overlooked, and readily embrace change as a way to make things better. J. Irwin Miller was such an individual, a man who provided uncommon leadership for his company, his community, and the world around him. As a young man, Irwin Miller was an outstanding student, attending the Columbus Public Schools, Taft School in Connecticut, Yale University, and then studying at Oxford, where he received a Master of Arts. But his first job after graduation was sacking groceries. Then in 1936, he began work as general manager at Cummins. It was a tough assignment because the company was in its 15th year without ever turning a profit. Yet under Irwin Miller's leadership, Cummins turned the corner to profitability, and the company grew steadily to become a world leader in the engine business. Along the way, he always led the company with an eye for what was best for the employee. In an era where union organizers were being shunned by many companies, Irwin Miller let Cummins employees know that he was entirely willing to work with a union if that was their choice. And his leadership extended far beyond the company. As the president of the National Council of Churches, he helped organize the original March on Washington and worked to support the civil rights movement. Later, because of his strong feelings about apartheid, he declined to invest in the manufacture of engines in South Africa and withdrew from servicing existing businesses there. He also helped craft legislation that led to economic sanctions. Over the years, Irwin Miller served as an advisor for many U.S. presidents, from Harry Truman to Lyndon Johnson to George H. Bush. In his own community, his vision led to Columbus becoming the home of world-class architecture. And in all that he did, he looked for new ideas, new approaches, and new solutions to make the world around him the best it could be. Whatever you do in this world, you've got a responsibility and the privilege of doing it the very best way you can. And whether it's architecture or uh, cooking our uh, drama, our music, the best is none too good for any of us. His was a creative, compassionate, responsible leadership. Leadership that left his company, the community, and the world a better place.